What is going on everyone? This is Arctic Fox. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're covering something a tad different than what we normally do over here. I wanted to bring to your attention a disgusting crime that happened out of Idaho over the weekend when 31 members of a white supremacist group or a white nationalist group decided that they were going to riot a gay pride parade in Idaho. Now guys, we've got people out there that just have too much time on their hands apparently. Idaho police officers arrested 31 people on Saturday who are believed to be affiliated with the white nationalist group Patriot Front after they'd been seen gathering near a pride parade in the city of Cordialing. And according to authorities, it's very clear that these people were going to cause trouble based on the type of equipment that they had in their possession and some of the paperwork that was seized from them. The FBI is assisting investigators with the investigation into this. The thing is, is that these people, they were, they weren't charged with any real crime. That's the sad thing. This should have been charged as a hate crime, in my opinion, but it wasn't. And obviously their bail was not jack shit because they've all already bonded out. Uh, the people who were arrested were all wearing similar clothing associated with Patriot Front that all had the same insignia, and one of the guys even had a smoke grenade in his possession. Now, for those unfamiliar, according to the Anti-Defamation League, Patriot Front's a white supremacist group, and their members maintain that their ancestors conquered America and left it to them. The group split from another white supremacist group, Vanguard America, and that happened in late August of 2017. Now, these people had riot gear with them, really. I mean, and their paperwork shows that they had meticulously plotted out what they were going to do to disturb the event. The 31 individuals, though, they were only arrested for a conspiracy to riot, and that's a misdemeanor. And, I mean, it, it's really shitty, because this was an obvious hate crime, and this is an obvious hate group, and so they should have been charged with a hate crime, in my opinion. Um, just saying, I mean, don't have to be a rocket scientist to put two and two together. Uh, the suspects did come from at least 11 different states, and unfortunately, Arkansas, where I live, was one of them. Uh, the mayor of Cordial Lane, Jim Hammond, he had said in a statement that obviously hate and violence has no place in his city. Uh, but all of the 31 individuals were from outside the area. They weren't locals to the area at all, so I wanted to put that out there. And I also wanted to give a shout out to, you know the local law enforcement, because they did a great job of staffing for the event to make sure that they could respond to anything that would come their way. Um, authorities have released mugshots of all of the pieces of shit that, that were involved in this, and they are available for viewing online. And I will leave a link in the description box below so that you can see the names and the photos of everyone for yourself, because I think that future employers out there need to know who these people are, because I certainly wouldn't want to hire someone that participated in something like this to work for my business. I know most reputable companies wouldn't want anyone that participates in a hate group working for them, so, yeah, I'm going to put all of their information out there and let you all have that for your future hiring needs. Among those arrested was Patriot Front leader Thomas Ryan Rousseau. And, again, he's already bonded out because, obviously, they didn't make their bond or their bail high enough, in my opinion. Um, but the Pride Alliance that organized the event, they, they wanted to, they issued a statement, and they were just saying how grateful they are that law enforcement was there and they handled it in the way that they did. Um, you know, and for those unfamiliar, Pride is just, you know, it's a month where the LGBT community, they celebrate how far they've come. Because there was, at one point, a time where it was just 
even to be gay was illegal. So, I mean, much less not being able to marry the person that you love. I mean, the, the community has come a long way, and that's what Pride is about. It's celebrating how far the community has come. And for a group like this to come and infiltrate it and try to disturb the celebration is just disgusting, in my opinion. And I will say, by looking at the photographs of these people, it's not shocking. They they epitomize the type of people that would be involved in something like this. Um, just, just saying, just throwing that out there. I mean, these are the same people that that organized the Unite to Right rally in Charlottesville in 2017, where a young lady was killed. Um, they're nasty, racist pieces of shit. Bottom line. Um, you know, they're white supremacists. What can I say? Um, they're the same type of people that would probably have been at the Capitol storming it on January the 6th. Just putting that out there. But the good thing is, is that law enforcement was on this. They were on the ball. Someone had alerted them prior that 20 people had jumped into a U-Haul and that they had shields and looked like a little army. So thank you to the concerned citizen that brought that tip to law enforcement's attention as well. Guys, I'm, I'm, this is just disturbing. I mean, and as a member of the LGBT community, it really frustrates me. That, that people still have so much hatred for this community in 2022. Guys, I always say it at the end of my video. You know, be kind to one another. And that's being kind to everyone. Regardless of orientation, regardless of color, regardless of race, regardless of country of origin, y'all be kind to one another. Because at the end of the day, we're all human. We all bleed the same blood. So let's treat each other with respect, guys. Let's 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 stop the hate. As always, guys, I do want to thank y'all for tuning in. If you'd give the video a like, I really would appreciate it. It does help the channel. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, consider clicking that red subscribe button and ringing that notification bell. That way, you're always alerted whenever I upload another missing persons video or a newsworthy video such as this. And consider sharing the video. I think people need to know that these groups exist and that they're still around in 2022 causing trouble and chaos. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate y'all. Be kind to one another out there, and I will see you in the next video.